Artificial intelligence is likely to be one of the major issues of the 2020s. Certainly when we think about some of the big themes that are being written around around the world, the potential opportunities of AI in transforming almost everything generate huge amounts of excitement. But at the same time, lots of considerations about the potential risks of AI, from simple automation and job losses to replacement or even superseding of human beings by independent higher intelligences. And an increasing amount of attention, not surprisingly, is being focused around the world on how do we manage AI? How do we govern AI so that we secure the benefits, but we minimize the chances of the risks and we use AI going forward to build a better world. But where relatively less attention has been placed is in the context of AI and finance. And I think when we look at AI today, artificial intelligence has been through a number of periods over the past 50, 60 years where it has received attention. But today, a unique confluence of factors mean that we are seeing more rapid development than we have ever seen before. And these are really the result of a twin process of digitization and datafication, what the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, calls the fourth industrial revolution characterized by the digitization of everything. AI rests on data, and in particular, digitized data. And today, the world is creating more data every day than it ever has before. And this is a trend that looks set to continue. But as this data are digitized, there is a need for storage. And storage has become ever more available and ever cheaper. Combine these with computing power. We're all familiar with Moore's law and the increasing availability of computing power. But combined with digital data storage and algorithmic theory, these together lay the groundwork for transformational development in artificial intelligence. AI in finance is actually one of the world's leaders. The finance industry is one of the largest spenders on artificial intelligence. Why? Because in finance, there is a constant arms race, particularly amongst financial traders and investors who are looking for an edge in global markets. To the extent that today, the vast majority of trading in global securities markets takes place not between human beings, but between computers. Computers that interact increasingly in a context of more and more advanced algorithmic systems including those using an increasing variety of AI tools. So, AI in finance is developing very rapidly, particularly in the context of global markets and global trading. Why? Well, the financial incentives, the financial resources, the human resources are all there to support its development. But this brings with it many, many challenges. How is the AI going to be monitored? What sorts of decisions is it going to make? Is it going to be discriminative? Is it going to be a black box that results in decisions, systems, approaches that cause new systemic risks that no one can explain, no one can understand? When we look at finance, not only is it one of the most digitized industries, the most globalized industries, but it is also one of the most regulated industries. And a real trend that we've had since the 2008 global financial crisis, as well as the related LIBOR and Forex scandals, or more recently, scandals in finance in Australia, has been to push for more and more cultural change, ethical behavior in the financial sector. How do we replace the greed is good of the 1980s and the 2000s with a much more ethical approach to finance? And one aspect of that is a regulatory tool focusing on personal responsibility. And what we're seeing is an increasing trend of regulation to personal responsibility of individual managers, individual directors for areas within their supervision and control in regulated financial institutions. And the reality is that AI falls into these in the same way as other activities, in the same way as a third-party contractor, in the same way as an employee. A computer system, a third party, 
whether independent or not, should fall under the responsibility of a single human, a manager in charge, a supervisory responsibility system. And we describe this as human in the loop in the context of AI in the financial sector. And from the standpoint of the financial sector, this means that finance is in a good position, relatively speaking, so long as those humans realize that they are responsible for the computer systems in their areas of responsibility. This drives systems of due diligence. It also drives systems of explainability. And we think that not only does this have huge potential in the context of AI and finance, but similar sorts of systems could very well be used in the context of AI in any regulated industry.